Today we're going to talk about a little bit of deck maintenance. We're going to first show you how to remove the spindle from this John Deere deck and then we're going to talk about how to remove these pulleys. Real simple operation. Uh, the first step you want to remove the deck from the lawnmower. I've got a great uh, deck removal video, the one with me uh, holding up the, the deck like a buffoon on the thumbnail. Uh, also just a quick note, if you are having, having some wobbling issues with the deck, first check your blades. Sometimes a blades can be out of alignment uh, and they just need new blades and it's not actually the spindle. But if you hear some screaming sounding coming from the bearings of the spindles, then it most likely needs a new spindle. So the first step, we're going to remove the dust cover. These are just tin bolts. I just rip them here. And boom, and then we've got the spindle. Now, the first thing you need to do is remove uh, this nut that holds on the pulley. That nut there is a, what is it, 7 8 So we're going to remove that 7 8 And this one, you know, it really does help to have an impact on this. That way it just hits it real quick or else you're going to have to find a way to hold that, you know, the blade underneath to hold it still. The impact is the best way. So I highly, highly suggest to get yourself an impact and grow up. Look at that. All right. Now these spindles, pulleys can get a little frozen up on here so sometimes they need a little I would say encouragement a couple of whacks with the old uh, craftsman hammer that one's a classic great tool for the shop all right so then we've got that undone now next I'm gonna hit these four bolts here that hold that spindle down underneath so once we do undo those bolts it's gonna drop that spindle down so make sure either are clear underneath the spindle or you're hanging on to it. You don't want that blade hitting your foot, putting a big old nasty hole in your foot. I've had lots of foot injuries in my life and I highly do not suggest that. All right, we got an issue there. Well, that is why you do not use an impact on 10 millimeter screws. All right, I hate to admit this, but I'm back. I had to put down the impact. They go to a regular ratchet. What happens is these, these little 10 meter screws, they've been in here a long time and they get frozen in there, rusted. And you just have to be real easy with them to get them out. As you can see, they're real tight and rusted on there. And it's just not something you want to hit an impact because if you do that, then you strip the, the head off it like I did with that one. And then you've got a mess. You've got a real big mess on your hands to get that out. So let me work on these. All right, then we're wrenching away on this last one here. Uh, I can't tell you how frustrated and pissed off I am that I broke that screw with that impact wrench, but hey, at least we're learning, right? Mow Mike's garage. I am definitely not a professional mower mechanic, but I lack the knowledge and make up for it in effort. Oh, that was deep. That was deep. I'm trying to build myself back up here for my horrible screw breakage. All right, so with that, we've got the spindle out, lift it up from underneath. So what you've got is the spindle, and next what I do to take off the, the blade. Now I do hit the blade with the impact. That's the easiest way to get these blades off. As you can see, uh, I would definitely take the blade off before you drop the deck off or do it while the spindle's still attached or do it once now. And there you go, one spindle off the mower. All right, so let's move on to these little pulleys here. So these are uh, different pulleys. That's the idler pulley. It's just another little pulley. Now, with our new lesson that we've learned, we will not use the impact on these nuts because I have stripped these out also before. So they're actually threaded into a bolt that's welded on the bottom. You do not want to break that, that weld on that bolt, bolt. So if you just wrench these guys off, with a 15 millimeter, they're all the same size, all three of them. And then you just pop them off. And when they're off, you can check the, the bearing. This one's actually a little tight. Uh, so we might need to get, get a new bearing on that one. All right, so now we're back and we're gonna install the spindle. 
Now to fix my little screw up, what I've done is I went ahead and I drilled the bolt out. I cut it flush uh, with the front of the spindle and I just drilled it. I started with little drill bits and built them up to about five sixteenths. So now I've got a hole in there. And instead of just threading that little 10 millimeter bolt, I've got a hardened bolt here and we're just gonna bolt it through there straight to the, uh, the deck. So I'll show you how that works. Uh, but before we do that, so to install it, we're gonna take, essentially slide it up underneath and line up the current holes, you know, the ones that I didn't destroy. And you slide your 10 millimeter bolts back in there and you'll take your wrench, not your impact wrench, mower bike. No impact wrenches on 10 millimeter bolts. No more. All right. Then we'll go ahead and tighten these down. And when I get done with that, we'll get back to that, that pesky fourth bolt. So now for the bolt that we stripped. What I've got, I've got a hardened bolt here. This is a 5 16 bolt. And what I'm gonna do is just, since I've drilled out the last hole here, I'm just gonna sneak this bolt up underneath here and just tighten it down. This doesn't degrade the, the spindle or anything. I've actually done this quite a few times just because those threaded bolts into those spindles, they just break. It, it's actually fairly common, especially when you're an idiot like myself. And just out of spite, I am gonna use my impact wrench on this smaller bolt and we'll see if she breaks up. All right. Now the thing with using a bolt, just make sure it's short enough that it's not gonna interfere with your blade underneath or your, your pulley up top. So now that we got that, now let's reinstall our pulley, which is pretty simple. You just line up that, that square, push it down and make sure it seats with the same octagon right there. And then you just take that guy, and this one is good to use the impact, so I'll go ahead and crank her up. All right, and that's tight. All right, and that, we got our spindle reinstalled. Next, you're gonna go ahead and mount uh, the blade underneath, which I've got a video on, and also you're gonna mount the, uh, the deck belt, which I've got a deck belt routing video on also. So I hope this helps, and good luck to you guys. Hopefully you don't strip out a bolt, but if you do, I think you're ready. Mar Mike out.